Okay, can everybody see? Yes. Okay. So I hope everybody's hearing me. I am very sorry, but we are in a 17th century colonial hacienda in the Andes of Ecuador, and things sometimes go wrong. So I'm Fernando, and I'm uh, the general manager and also co-owner of this beautiful property in the middle of the beautiful inter-Andean valleys, no? And I call it an intimate encounter with the Ecuadorian Andes because it's actually that. It took me and my aunt almost seven years to convince my family to open this beautiful home to, to your guests, to your clients, my guests. And we have been at it for 23 years already. And, um, and I have never changed my promise to my family, which was to always keep the essence of the place as a home. So the experience uh, our guests encounter is that it's an intimate encounter with all the hotel um, um, things that make your guests happy in a, in a hotel, no? So I will continue. You know where Ecuador is, so it's one of the, it's, it's the smallest, one of the smallest countries in South America, but it's a very special country. It has all that has, South America has it in one little place, okay? We are located due north of the capital of Quito and the new airport. So only 90 minutes from the new airport and only two hours from the capital, Quito. All the roads are paved and very, very easy to reach Suleta. Today, even we have guests that live from here directly to the airport, no? So, and also very near one of the most important Indian markets called Otavalo, due uh, west, and also very near all the crater lakes that surround us. So all these things here are volcanoes, no? So we are surrounded by beautiful volcanoes, just impressive volcanoes, and also crater that have filled with water, crater lakes, which are just amazing, no? And this is the, the view of our, once you reach the hacienda, no? So you have these inner, in, inter Andean valleys with, with the snow cave volcanoes throughout the year, no? So you can feel it, the, that volcano at the end, and this is the house that you can see, it's, 98,000 square feet, no? It has been in our family since 1889, 1898, I'm sorry, yes? And we are known for our beautiful embroidery, okay? And Suleta is a place where you have to, before I did all the work with my aunt, and now we have grown a little bit, now we are 21 rooms, and we have four hosts, that do the, the uh, welcoming to our guests. And each host is assigned one or two, three groups. And he and or she, uh, in different languages, we have German, French, Ita uh, Spanish, and English, welcome the guests and make them feel at home and, and, and transfer their desires to the kitchen, to the activities, etc. No, And it's a working hacienda and it's, and it's 9,800 acres or 2,000 uh, plus hectares, no? And it's within a community. So the, the main production is milk and cheese. Uh, also we produce uh, wheat, barley, potatoes, quinoa. We have an incredible uh, organic garden. We produce 17 varieties of cheese. 12 varieties of vegetables and about 20 types of herbs. So guests can wander around our garden, no? And see all the activities of the hacienda. We are also very famous for our sheep, yeah? Suleta is one of the main uh, spots for, for uh, sheep and, and lamb, no? Uh, here are some views that you're gonna see later on where we have put four our, of our hosts in different areas of the house because this house is quite large and the internet, we have our, our walls are about a meter, meter 20 in width. 
So internet is a is a is all over the house, but it has different modems. So that's why we have had a few problems, and I am sorry for that. No, these are some of the rooms that you're gonna see. You're gonna see two of them live. No, and we have rooms from a standard size to junior suites. No, and they go from 30 square meters to 50 square meters. And in the next seven months, we will have four rooms of a suite size, which will be between 50 and 70 square meters. So for those who speak in feet, there will be uh, 150 to 200 uh, square feet, no? And here is a little plan of the house. As all colonial Spanish uh, and Portuguese homes, they, they have inner patios. So in us, we have three inner patios and this, the main plaza, which is 300 feet or 120 meters across, no? It's one of the largest colonial plazas in, in, the, in the colonial haciendas of Ecuador, in Highland Ecuador, because this was a sheep farm, okay? And the rooms are around the different patios, no? So as you see today, we have three standard rooms, 11 deluxe rooms, seven junior suites, and these rooms are, to, are the ones we give to guests. And we also have, uh, we call them the stable rooms, uh, which are guides and drivers. Many of our guests arrive here with their own guide and a, their own driver, okay? We are going to, in the next seven months, as I said, we're going to join some of these rooms and add a new room, a new suite. So we will end up with 21 rooms, but we will have only one standard room. And, and I will show you, and I will send you all the information later, okay? We have a new project, which is a relaxation center here. And uh, I will also show you that a chapel and all the activities around the house are included. So guests uh, through winter host can visit the cheese factory, the garden, and then they go out in their own activities, okay? And, and uh, this is the key element of us. The food and the people you, your guests and you, I hope come, will meet most of our uh, uh, people that work with us and the food is one of the most important things. That's another promise. Our family is a family known for their food. My great grandmother and my grandmother were famous and they're cooks too, no? There are some of the cheeses we produce. We love vegetarians, we, do, we love vegans and basically everything is family recipe, no? We have a special menu for kids and for plant-based guests. We are not afraid of anything. So um, just for you to enjoy. And this is another of our pride, our activities, especially horseback riding, which can be done by people that know nothing about horses or extremely expert in horses. Our tourism activity started just with horseback riding, with Eki Tours uh, in the saddle. Many of these companies that work still work with us and used to work with us, no? Um, I think it's just an incredible place to horseback ride, walk, uh, bicycle ride. We are just purchasing uh, electric bikes also. You are seeing here uh, a condor doing a, 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 a um, our condor project is one of the most famous in Ecuador. You have here a spectacle bears, the only bear from South America. It is an endangered species and in Zuleta, you can see them. Uh, throughout the year, and I would say 20% of our guests get to see, lucky enough to see condors, and uh, about 95% see um, bear, uh, condors, no? And here are some of the activities you, your guests can do, from milking a cow to learning to do embroidery, just sitting around the fire. It's an active place, but you can also know it, just enjoying it alone, no? Uh, all our activities and trails are marked, so you can actually do all of these activities alone, but the horseback riding, obviously, and some of the bike, uh, bicycle, we need a guide to, to, to take you throughout the places. Um, uh, uh, why did we do this? Is because your guests will be in the Amazon, in, the, in Galapagos, all 
cram with all people doing exactly the same activities at the assigned hour. I want people to be at Zuleta at their free will. They can do the activities whenever they want. They can plan them here with no problem. Their host will be sure that they can do whatever they want and the amount of time they have, no? It is ideal two nights, but I have seen more and more people asking for another night, but I am, I am very humble. And I love the idea that at the end of their trip, Suleta was the most uh, impressive place because in Galapagos, they are, they are helping. They, are, they have seen videos all the time and at Suleta, you can uh, be impressed. So our job is very easy. So don't, be, don't fear that we will accomplish what you need to impress your, your clients. No, uh, we have very detailed maps from the top one here is just around the farm. And this one is around the volcanoes where you can do horseback riding. Uh, hopefully next year by June or September, we will have a four by four for our older clients. About 52% of our clients are uh, 60 and up. So we want to get these clients out in the fields Right now we have a, a truck that tells, takes them, uh, but now we will have a very comfortable four by four with beautiful uh, windows so people can enjoy, no? We send all this information and Senderos will also has the information where you can just paste and, and drop and, and help you uh, sell uh, Suleta and Ecuador, our main pro uh, purpose in this and going to trade fairs is that just for you to know, I don't care who you work with, who, which DMC, we are friends of everybody, but we can also help you if you are get stuck or if you don't have, a, or you want an extra thing for your guests, okay? Uh, one of the most important things that we do is our Fundacion Galo Plaza Lazo. It has been working well before we started in tourism. So uh, our foundation works, as I said, in environment, Condor. Uh, this is our rehabilitation uh, project. It's an interpretation center to explain to guests and students all through Ecuador about our Condor project. We have the most successful Condor project. Also, we work with spectacle bears and we also work with 22 endangered species. We also have an embroidery project that helps the women of, of the communities to increase. We also have an archaeology project, which we work with York University in England and also uh, 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 universities in the, in the US. You are new to me. Uh, I have I don't see your faces. I am very sorry. I am very bad when I when I don't see uh, faces. But one of the most key elements of Hacienda Azulet is always innovating, always. And this is one of my pride and joys. Not a spa. I'm sorry. It is a relaxation center. It's called Suleta Relaxation Center. And and that little pool that you see there is very small. It's actually 24 feet by seven feet. It is a it is a soaking tub. And on top of that, you, you're going to see a skylight. It has some massage area, it has a sauna and a Turkish. And this will complete the experience of Suleta. Once you have walked and ride and run and visit a, a horseback ride and bicycle ride, then you come here and just relax and enjoy. And uh, this uh, project will grow slowly. We also are doing interpretation centers. This one is on, on the cheese. Uh, and this was all stopped during the pandemic, but now we have surpassed 2019. We have restarted all our projects and especially these two are just uh, starting. And I'm gonna show you a little video about it, okay? So this is the entrance and that's the soaking tub. At the end is a paramo or polar dip, no? A sauna and a Turkish bath. And this will have all these beautiful green plants and orchids, which Ecuador is so famous with. And then here is the cheese uh, interpretation center with a overlook of the cheese factory and an explanation of what we do, what is our history, and a three minute video of a production of cheese from the beginning to the end. So we have for your guests 
everything, no? So don't, don't hesitate to always uh, think. And this is my little sign before I sign out and we show you uh, the, the house in real time, no? So for me, thank you very much for your time. Please don't forget, we are all senderos and all our sales staff here, always ready to help you in any way possible to book Ecuador's outstanding mainland. And of course, the most intimate experience in the Ecuadorian Andes, which is us, Hacienda Zuleta. But we are not here to sell Zuleta. We are here to sell Ecuador mainland. And that's my presentation for you. Fernando, that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> After a bit of a rocky start of the internet issues, I think everybody will agree that um, that was a really great insight into Hacienda Zuleta. And I'm sure many of you already know about Hacienda Zuleta because it has been around for many, many years and it's a favourite among people who put uh, Tenerife to Ecuador. But just in summary, really, we're looking at this incredible historic building with. Um, you know, a really strong family history, incredible activities in and around the Andean uh, mountains and valleys, incredible conservation projects, um, a, a working farm. And now we're going to um, have the beautiful rooms as well. And yeah, this really great familiar atmosphere. So now we're going to take a walk through some of the places in the Hacienda with Manuel, who is Fernando's son, and Carolina. Who are we going to start with, Fernando? Let's start with Carolina in our new dining room. It's a new dining room that is only three, three years old. It used to be our offices. So three years ago, I was sitting there uh, in party. So please, Carolina, take over. Hi, hello. So let me, let me show you the nice view that we have here in the dining room. Fernando va explicando. Yeah, by the way, Carolina is the main boss here. She is in charge of all the all the all the uh, uh, administration of the of the hotel. I'm just the pretty face. So <laughs> Carolina is in charge of many things, but one of them is taking care of our staff and the uh, operations of the hacienda. So that's the dining little living room for you to take a cognac, no? And uh, if you turn left, Carolina, you will see the long uh, family style living room. Everybody can either sit together, sit in different, we have five different uh, seating arrangements. Some guests get to know each other in the living room and end up asking the host if they can join uh, the guests, no? Uh, our, our intention is for our guests to feel at home. So you can sit again. Now go to Manuel or Santiago. Santiago, can, can we see you? A ver, yes. Okay, so Santiago will show you a, a little bit of the, of, the, of the internal patio, and um, he will also show you a few rooms, two rooms actually. Okay, Carolina, thank you very much. <laughs> the screen they should be able to see unless you can see it when I pinned it but if you pin Santiago's screen you should be able to see it a bit more clearly. You muted. You're muted Nicole. Hi this is Santiago. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> he, Santiago is one of our hosts. Go ahead Santiago. Okay let me check. So, yep, I will show you this one of the rooms. So, Fernando can talk about it. This is uh, Mario, Mario Esteban, in one of the deluxe rooms. So, exactly. Um, uh, let me talk then. 
Santiago. Uh, all our rooms have names of family members, and it is true, it's not make believe. I don't remember the numbers. I am sure your guests will know their number of the room, but we always uh, show them their name. And this Mario Esteban is one of my cousins who loves, that he used to love this room when he was a small. So when we fix this room, it has his, his name, you know? Uh, can you show Santiago uh, the bathroom? Hello. No, I think we lost Santiago. Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. I am now in a new computer and I'm very sorry, but we lost the connection. Fernando with another computer and he's looking out the window. Oh, hang on. Fernando, what's going on? That's Can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry. I lost connection by, by some strange. Uh, 17th century reason. And I'm now in the main living room, the president's living room. This is uh, the two presidents, which were my great grandfather and grandfather, no? And this is the beautiful living room that before I started this uh, webinar, it, uh, uh, we had a little emergency with a fireplace. You know? uh, so this is the, the living room, which is very beautiful, no? This uh, part was built in the 6th, 17th century, 1691. All, no, all original beams, yes. And this is my grandfather, Dalo Plaza, and my great grandfather, Leonidas Plaza, which were the owners of this hacienda. No, we, as I told you before, we bought it in 1898. No, and you can feel it. You feel the home ambiance of the place, okay? And uh, just a little view of the horse stables, you can see them. And the, um, the relaxation area is to, due, uh, to the left side, okay? And you can see one of some of the beautiful views of the Andean valleys, no? So yes, uh, that's Hacienda Zuleta. I think we're, gonna, we're not gonna handle a lot of movement now because I think the internet is a little bit unstable in Cola. So maybe, uh, our guests would like to ask uh, some questions. Okay, we can do that. Um, does anybody have any questions for Fernando and his team? We are at your disposal. Um, if you'd like to either unmute yourselves or, um, or you can write a question in the chat box. Um, thank you very much for that uh, presentation, Fernando. It was great. And it's so nice to see the- I am so sorry. I am not very good at these things. Um, so yeah, does anybody have a question for Fernando or Carolina or Santiago? Uh, Manuel is doing a really great walk around as well in his um, in his uh, with his camera. Um, yeah, we would appreciate any question really. Um, anything about the the trails or the horse riding or the excursions? Um, Fernando, I've got a question. It's Stephanie here from Bailey Robinson. Um, with the four new suites that you're going to be opening with, are they still part of the original building? Are they? Oh, yes. Or is yes. it an extension? Or? Yeah, thank you for that question. We, we only use about a fourth or a third of the house. Okay. Right. So one of the, uh, one of the suites will be called the store suite which was where the company store was uh, located. It will be about 110 square uh, meters, so about 330 square feet. This will be the first one. And then 
inside the house, we will join a standard rooms with deluxe. Uh, we're going to do a major uh, uh, suite that will be 120 square meters, and that will be called my grandmother's suite. No? Uh, and this will be a very special place. Uh, so yes, we will first go down in rooms and then up again, OK? So all the rooms will be in the uh, main building of the house. Lovely, thank you. OK. We've got quite a few questions here now, Fernando. So um, Will from Red Savannah asks, do you have any programs for experienced riders? We have incredible programs for experienced drivers. That is one of our main purposes. Although we only, about 9% of our income comes from um, uh, just people that come here for horseback riding. But I am sorry to tell you this. It, they are our favorite <laughs> guests. Why? Because they stay longer and then they become a more relaxed, and they enjoy the ambience more because you are tonight, you want to do everything, no? But horseback riders stay four, five nights and we have incredible rides from, from uh, 12 to 14 hours, some very long, others short, and we can combine that. We have a special, two special uh, information booklets that we can send you. Uh, Nicola, you can jot down and we, uh, we will explain and we can also cater to, to new things that maybe he wants to go from one farm to the other, we can also that do that or also recommend other outfits that can you can do the North uh, Andes and the Southern Andes of Ecuador and, and do both, no? I am not a jealous person. I don't want you to be only mine. I will try, but not all the time. <laughs> um, what is the average age range of your clients? And does that include family? Okay. Uh, before, for us, December was the main month. It was uh, between the 19th of December and the 3rd or 4th of January. But today, March, June, and July are extremely important because we started working with families, okay? Bringing guests that have families. We love families, but we also love the, the people that come along also. No? We, Suleta is... Is, it has this very broad activity area where you can enjoy a lot and do a lot of activities, but you can do the same activities in a carriage, in a German carriage with shock absorbers that we have, in car, in, in, a, in a bicycle, just walking, most of the activities you can do. And now, hopefully, I said by the middle of next year, I don't know how the season will be, but I think I am very optimistic we will purchase this new car. It is an American big uh, truck that will take all your guests. And this came from showing my, my fa father and mother, 84 and 89, around the farm, taking them to the highest point. None, not one of the sisters have seen this. And you can do it with a car with no problem. So uh, if you're taking, I love percentage. So 67% of our guests are between 55 and 85, okay? 19% are between uh, uh, five and, and, and 19, let's say, okay? And then you will add up and there's other percentages. <laughs> That's very specific. That's great. I love percentages. So if you want to ask me precise things, I love this. I am not afraid. Uh, so how many kilometers of walking trainers are there? Oh. Listen, my grandfather was a champion of roads, okay? During his presidency, he was one of the presidents that made the most amount of roads. So in his farm, which was his trial, no? He was the first landowner, big landowner family to give the land back, to introduce rural education. So for my grandfather, a pride was roads and education. And our foundation works in education, not in roads. <laughs> But we have more than 32 kilometers of roads, no? And plus trails. Some of these roads are cobblestone, some are dirt roads where you can ride bicycle or walk, no? Usually because of the altitude and people are a few days here, we take them up and then they go down. And going down is beautiful, no? 
uh, not at our, not at our, our age, but we, we take care of all. Uh, I am growing with my product <laughs> and understanding the, the different problems that we have. Continue. That's great. Um, Kat Trotter says, oh, we've talked a bit about families already. Um, is there enough for kids to do? Um, but also, do you recommend that guests come with their own driver and guides, or do they not need to come with their own guides anymore, as you have your own guides to take guests riding and biking, etc.? Okay. I just want to mention something about, about kids. We have a special menu for kids of activities and a special menu of their food. I always tell the parents, I know your kids have to try everything, all the food of this new country, but I am here. The kids are also our, our clients, our guests. So we try to keep them happy. If they in Galapagos were having very fancy food, here they can have pizza if they want. Okay, so that's something very important. Our clients and our future clients are your kids too. Okay, so that's one. The other thing is, yes, you can do Suleta, as I said, and maybe I was talking too fast, is you can do Suleta by your own, by yourself uh, or your group, no? With our host, you can do everything. We can plan uh, Otavalo, the Indian markets, inside the farm, everything. But depends on your guests. If they want to be pampered and want, and want to have a guide, in Suleta, we have a special program for guides that most, you know, we are a very special, a small country where many of the guides work with many of the operators. So we have a, a system called Certification Suleta where our, the guides come and learn about Suleta, learn what is the essence of the place. So when they are with your guests or your clients, they can say things that are true and are real of the farm. So, and they get uh, uh, their rate of coming to Suleta is, is very low. Okay, so we, we want you to come. If guide and driver here three days cost so much and increase the price of the, of the trip, come without. Don't let that be an excuse not to come. We give you the guide. That's right, thank you. I just saw that Carolina is still doing a tour and she, she met one of the hosts at the breakfast table, which I loved, that was nice. Maybe we can, I think uh, Carolina was meeting De Vinicio. He's from Otavalo. And uh, most of our, our, our employees are, 97% of our employees come from the communities that surround Suleta, Suleta community in the surrounding, but also from other areas, especially hosts that speak different languages, no? And Vinicio is one of them. He's from the famous community of, of Otavalo, very great guy. No, Santiago Parra, okay. Jan is from uh, France, France, but he speaks German and French. So, so we are we are from everywhere. I am half Dominican. That's why I am always moving. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much, Fernando. Thank you so much to Carolina as well and to Santiago. I think that's all the questions now, but um, yeah, it's wonderful. So as I said, I'll send everybody a follow up to the recording of this webinar and your presentation. And I'll also put those questions in the email and the answers um, and any documents and fact sheets and things that um, we can send to everybody as well. And so, I, I, would, I, will, I would like to do one question more, one thing more before you go. I invite you all to come to Ecuador, mainland Ecuador. I love Galapagos. Come, come, come to Suleta. Come and see. If you're going to do only one activity in the Andes, in, in Ecuador mainland, do the Andes. Because the Andes is the essence of Ecuador and Galapagos. And then also, of course, visiting the Amazon on a cruise boat would be an excellent combination with Anaconda. And then the Galapagos on a cruise boat in integrity would be an excellent combination. Anaconda and, and the owner of Anaconda, El Capitan, he is one of the guys has worked the most to, to people who understand the mainland Ecuador. I applaud him. 
and someday I want to be like him. <laughs> We do have another quick question, though. Do you do any very special tailor-made requests, like a special dinner out in the in a location of a hacienda? I, I will tell you something. My wife, Carolina, will hate me for this. She is the operation manager, okay? We, we have catered to many strange uh, things that have been asked. It is always a privilege to do. We get mad a little bit, you know, but we have planned dinners in and made bathrooms up in 4,000 uh, high altitude. We have done um, uh, dinners in the waterfall. I mean, we cater to a very, uh, ex, ex, a, a very keen people to, 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 um, to I, I, so cater to princes and, and actors that don't, don't want anyone to see them. So listen, nothing, nothing, and I tell you this with my heart, nothing is a, a, a obstacle. In any, if it's not possible, we will tell you, okay? okay? Suleta is a real place. I will not do a festivity that is always in June, in February for you. I will not do, I'm an anthropologist by training and an economist, but an anthropologist by heart and training. If you want to see our activity of June, the main festivity, you come in June. You cannot come in February and me do an activity that is false. I don't do this, I am sorry. The main festivity is only in June. Um, great, that seems like a good place to finish. So we can, they can organize any special activity that you, that you request, as long as it's not a festivity. Um, great. Thank you, everybody, and um, yeah, I'll be following up over the next couple of days with all this information. And well, we'll hope to see you in Ecuador sometime soon. Thank you for coming to Ecuador. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fernando. Um... Gracias.